Oh yeah, no, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a, a 112 a scale Inspector Gadget action figure. Why, hello folks, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. On this episode, we are going to be playing with an action figure. Yes, the one and only Inspector Gadget. I am, I'll be honest with you, I'm really, really excited. I don't typically do unboxing and reviews on, uh, on 112 scale action figures, but I love Inspector Gadget. I grew up with this character, and uh, when I knew that uh, Blitzway was uh, making uh, their very own high-end 112 scale action figure, I had, I, had to get, I had to get on it, really did. Uh, this is part of a series, uh, F of Pro Studio, an extension of Blitzway, and uh, this is Inspector Gadget, one out of four. I don't plan on getting Chief Quimby or Penny or Brain uh, at this time. Uh, it, it, for, for me, it's more of an Inspector Gadget. I know that they sold this as a collector, so to get all four, but uh, Inspector Gadget was really the only one I was really, really interested in. This is pretty cool, too. It's part of Tamashi Nation, so you know it's going to be a... Uh, a good high-end uh, quality product. So let's not waste any time. Though. Let's uh, let's get to the unboxing here, and uh, let's play well with Inspector Gadget. Uh, very well packed, tons of gadgets, blister pack there. This is the uh, the DX. This was the uh, I want to say this was part of the uh, the pre-order edition. You had pre-ordered it, you'd get the extra face on it. Let's look at it. let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of the package in here. And this is uh, like I said, f first impressions. I love it. I uh, they really really knocked out of the park. Uh, the the color palette, uh, I think, in my honest opinion, it does match the color the color cartoon representation. Uh, I love it. I really am. This is exciting. I we've never had a, a really good high end quality Inspector Gadget. I know they've released earlier versions that uh, were probably five points of articulation and didn't really. Uh, take advantage of the amount of gadgets that Inspector Gadget has. I like this right here. This right here, his uh, his uh, trench coat, it's flexible right there. That's I like that. I wasn't sure if it was a hard plastic or if it was stiff and rigid. So there, uh, it it does provide uh, a bit of flexibility if you want to have a gadget run or have him in an action stance pose here. I thought his knees were double jointed, but they're not. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen this type of joint before. It's uh, it's clever, very clever, but uh, it's probably one with a little twist, bendy there action. So that's nice, that's really nice there. And then the feet uh, pops right off. Uh, there is tension. Uh, that was uh, I was kind of worried about that when the, when the foot just kind of popped right off, but uh, you're gonna need that. You're gonna need to be able to have plenty of, of articulation. You're gonna need to have that that uh, um, easy switcheroo. Have the head pop off. Have the hands pop off. Have the legs pop off because he's he's Inspector Gadget. He is a full of gadgets. And there's a little uh, point there. Hey, fun fact: if you're interested as to how many gadgets Inspector Gadget has, according to Wikipedia, it is a 14,000 gadgets. I know because I googled it. <laughs> so. Uh, this a special edition by uh, Blitzway here. Uh, I, it, I I like that they are going to that they've included his best gadgets, pretty much the gadgets that you've seen through most of the show uh, that he uses. He tends to use very he tends to use very frequently. Uh, articulation is great. Uh, it, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a high, it feels like a high end SH figure figure, which is what I was expecting, and and it's what they're and it's what they have delivered, which is uh, pretty cool here. This is the extra feature here, the extra DX feature is the uh, the head. And first, and I noticed there's a little scuff on the nose there, so I don't know if that's a paint blemish or dirt. Uh, I was a little bit concerned about that. I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> His additional face there uh, is dirty. But what I did do is that I, uh, I took um, a paper towel and a little bit of Windex, and it actually uh, cleaned off, so it wasn't paint, it was just dirt, so. Uh, I was able to uh, I was able to save the extra head there, so that made me feel really good. So, uh, smiley face. I wonder what other expressions because they included a, a. You know what we needed? A serious uh, face for Inspector Gadget. That would have been really cool. A little diorama base there, uh, a little cartoon uh, palette on there with the uh, with the colors, which if you had Penny and Brain and Chief Quimby, you can connect them together and, and display them accordingly. You have. 
I don't want to call this a flight stand. This is more of a articulated arm, uh, which you can use to uh, stabilize Inspector Gadget because uh, once you attach all those wonderful little gadgets, uh, he can be a little bit top heavy. So there's his uh, hole in his, yes, that's his butt. Um, yeah, you would stick the peg in that hole. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's what would stabilize him. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> it's awkward. It's a, it's a clever design though because um, the the hole is hidden out of view, but uh, it serves. Oops, it uh, it serves its purpose. Uh, I will have to adjust the tension in those joints because uh, without that extra, t yeah. Oops, it's it's not. Um, it's not. That's not gonna work. All right, let's get to my first favorite gadget, and it is the gadget skates. And I am honestly blown away by this. I I knew. Uh, in the description that he got the skate, I didn't think the wheels were articulated. The wheels actually move. So that extra attention to detail in an action figure of, in a 112 scale uh, is, is, is genius. Love it. Uh, the little uh, pegs uh, in his feet uh, are kept very secure with tension. And yes, I am going to... That's me playing with them. That's gadget. I, I, I look. I'm gonna confess. Uh, in the early 2000s, when I uh, uh, picked up rollerblading out in the park, uh, I always imagined myself as Inspector Gadget. So this was one of my favorite. I'm glad that they included the skates because in the cartoon, in the cartoons, he always used the skates to get out of trouble. Uh, the uh, tray of accessories here uh, includes his most popular gadgets. Uh, there's one gadget that is missing that I thought was very popular, and I'll, I'll touch on that uh, at the end of the video. Uh, these, those are the gadget springs. Uh, he uses that all the time to uh, to reach new heights. <laughs> and I love that it's real. I love that it's metal and it's springy, and that's cool. I was not expecting that. The arm extensions uh, have a little bendy wire in it, so it, it does hold. Uh, it's it's a pose if you decide to uh, attach it so that's very very cool I uh, really love that uh, the mechanical uh, arms right there uh, good quality uh, the paint application on is really good very sturdy uh, and the joints are metal so that's really really good the gadget copter uh, which he used all the time and the gadget umbrella. I didn't think he used the, ga the, the gadget umbrella a lot, but I guess that was his always go-to if he was ever falling off a building or, or something. Uh, but uh, look at the quality on this uh, umbrella, the gadget umbrella. That's a steel rod. It's a metal steel rod. Uh, the attention to detail underneath the umbrella too uh, was done very, very nice. I like that. Very sturdy. Uh, very done very well. That's the gadget copter, a little uh, gear uh, blades, a uh, little bit of, are kept very sturdy with uh, tension. And pop that on there. And I love the colors. I love the cartoon colors. It's it's all about the paint application on uh, to, to really make it uh, come alive. And this is cool, man. It it would have been. Bad. I tell you what, I would have been in heaven if they could have gotten this. Uh, gadget copter to spin on top of his head that would I'm sure I I'm sure it could be done with a little bit of hack probably destroying the figure but that'd be cool uh, his badge he always pulled out his badge because he is inspector gadget and a uh, uh, little star there not much detail but you don't need much detail because I don't think the actual cartoon badge had as much detail uh, this caught me off guard the magnifying glass that actually magnifies uh, that's uh, beautiful there. I'm like, oh, that's nice. I was not expecting a real uh, uh, action figure magnifying glass. And uh, even the headlight has that fluorescent yellow on, on the tip. So kind of makes it look like it's on. Done very, very well. His uh, his hat uh, attachment, you'll need that. That's, uh, that is the three hole. So that would be for the gadget copter. You would swap that out. And then the other one, these are his, his hands, which a pointy finger. I thought when I had first popped this open, I thought it was his gadget laser because he, he did have a gadget laser, didn't he? And I thought that's what that was, but I'm like, oh, it's just a pointy finger. Uh, the gadget screwdriver, a little flathead screwdriver there. He uh, he always used that a lot. Uh, painted really well, done very, very nice. Look at that. 
he should have he should have had the gadget laser but I get it you can only do so much you can only include so much without breaking the bank on on uh, inspector gadget uh, a little hand oh of course the gadget phone right yeah the gadget phone the gadget mobile the first to have a, a, a mobile phone there you go so you can make his calls that's cool done very well uh, gadget uh, that's the, uh, the little fist there on the other one but yeah it's neat look at that look at the little speaker I mean that's genius this is good stuff I wonder if they're gonna do any more of the uh, dick properties um, from the 80s like Heathcliff and uh, the other stuff that they used to do uh, his eyes only oh, okay swappable eyes so they can give him a different expression on there and uh, what else we got there all right so let's uh let's fiddle around with the attachment uh blended very well you can see a little joint on there mold it just right and we're gonna pop the uh we're gonna, we're gonna start off with the gadget copter um the two favorite gadgets are gonna for me are the gadget roller skates and of course the gadget copter so i'm glad uh that they uh they were going to do that the other gadget too that he used a lot was um uh, the one where he inflates, where the uh, where the suit, go go gadget, right where he turns into a balloon. I forgot I forgot the code word for that, but uh, that was uh, he would use that a lot. He'd pull on one of his buttons on his jacket. This is cool. Those arms, by the way, are are metal or steel, and uh, the grips are rubber, so they can fit right uh, they can fit right into the uh, the the fist palms there. Done very well. I kept the skates on because he's because he's an idiot. You just gotta love Inspector Gadget. The fact that he's on his copter and he's on the blades on the uh, on the roller skates. Can't use blades. Those are old school 1980s roller skates. Uh, done very well. And he's just with a stupid look in his face. <laughs> I love this thing. I, you know, I'll, after the video, I was still playing with this thing. This is just cool. They just did a really bang up job on this. Uh, that's just. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to have to go back and get Penny and Brain now. This is silly. I thought I could just live with just Inspector Gadget, but I'm going to have to get the whole family now. Uh, the additional uh, adapter here is for the mechanical arms. And uh, you can attach the flashlight. And what did I, you can also attach the umbrella, which I was shocked that the amount of tension that the uh, arms have. And he's standing by himself. I'm not even using a stand. I'm like, wow, that's cool. That uh, the gadget umbrella, <laughs> go go gadget umbrella. Uh, it's it's just there. I mean the, the the tension the the on those joints are holding up that umbrella. I didn't modify anything. I didn't do any gluing or anything. Uh, and then the magnifying glass, which you can if you position just right, it magnifies his eyes and it's just like in the cartoon, like the opening segment. So that's cool. That uh, that's really cool that uh, they they went that extra step into actually including a magnifying glass. That's uh, that's clever. A little screwdriver on there. And uh, pop his head off. And I'm gonna change the uh, the face expression here. It's actually pretty easy. It, I, I looked at the instructions and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to swap off the face, but it's really not. It's just kept, uh, kept on with the uh, square peg on there. And you can just pop his face on there where he's kind of looking. And I'm gonna, since I have the head out, I'm gonna do the gadget neck, because he would use that a lot. He would always extend his neck and look around corners and stuff like that. And uh, look at that! I mean, that's that's crazy. This is uh, this is not what I was expecting. I, I I don't know what I was expecting. I knew. I, I just I I think I'm overblown. I think I'm overwhelmed with the amount of uh, attention to detail, uh, and and the look. I mean, because. Again, I, I want to say this is the very first time we've we've ever gotten a decent Inspector Gadget figure that represents the character that we all grew up with as kids, and uh, I, I you know I, I applaud Blitzway and uh, their extended arm of the little company because uh, I don't think enough people have noticed how much work has gone into this. I mean, look at the Gadget Springs. Look at that. That's incredible. That is just incredible. All right, let me uh, let me play around with his eyes here. So it's 
actually pretty easy and the, the eyes pop right off yeah kept on with tension you don't have to glue anything pegged on right there and then you can make them look uh, uh, I think I would have probably wanted more like a like a scared like he's terrified so this right here is the uh, this is a 1 6 scale mallet I think I got this from a leftover from a Harley project but uh, I'm gonna attach it to one of his gadget arms because I, I feel at growing up that he used the mallet a lot like if, if there's one thing I remember as a kid the mallet always got him out of trouble every he would he just he would zone out but as long as the mallet came out of his head it would always save him and uh, again the 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 joint tension quality on this thing the fact that I'm not using any stands he's able to support a heavy toy mallet in the umbrella and uh, still keep on the uh, the springs is uh, is kudos it really is so I took it to the next level I added the uh, the gadget skates and uh, he's uh, he's jamming <laughs> I love this thing I really had fun playing with this and I I hope you guys were able to uh, share in the joy with with me on this and uh, if you guys love inspector gadgets as, as much as I do you you gotta go get this thing uh, like, subscribe, leave your comments below. This was a fun little different video, which I always enjoy doing.